What's up guys, Bull by the Fell Handed here bringing you another Tier 10 video. Here we are in the Bat Chat 25T Tier 10 French Medium Tank on Arctic Region Standard Battle. We've got loads of homies in the game here and we're kind of formulating a battle plan. Normally we like to go up to D4 area and just kind of shit on people as they um, you know, push the, uh, their right flank. So, here we are. Versace V12, full throttle, only tank of the game with push to start, firing banana berry shells, headliner from a 1982 Mazda Miata, and the only French tank in the game with a German crew, falling on an eccentric level. Now, we are in the trench going to the farm, or what we call the farm, where you can just kind of spray people up and get XP. So we're on our way up there right now, and we're going to see if we can't pull some shots in, which we always do. Now, we don't have to worry about artillery, which is good, because artillery always, always throws dick up in this hole. So if there's already here and you're going to the farm, be very careful. Now, they're going to cross over um, in front of us, and, you know, the idea is we're just going to kind of spray them up as they come. Um, you know, and I'm trying to lay in a shot here tap somebody in the side of their turret, you know, fuck them if they can't take a joke. Uh, we got a guy over here, you know, just peeking over, saying, hey, who the fuck is shooting at me? There's my man Ferret, AJ just coming on. He is the guy who gave me this wonderful mic I'm talking to you guys through. So, he's a ballin' ass motherfucker. Um, you know, we're trying to take some more shots. Uh, I fucked that one up. I think I fucked the next one up. Nope, maybe not. Yes, I am good at fucking shit up. If you need to fuck some shit up, call me, because I will fuck up your accuracy like nobody's business. Um, so right now, you know, we're we're pulling back, we're reloading. Um, you know, and the bat chat is not a very accurate tank uh, to be begin with. Um, so you, you kind of gotta you're you're at the mercy of RNG basically. That's what's happening. Um, you know, we're down here in the trench here. We got Fat Nightmares in the IS-7. Uh, you know, and, and kind of peeking over. I don't like to be in this trench when there's a lot of people with us. It attracts too much fucking attention. We start taking rounds. And as you all know, I'm not about that life. So, right now I'm just kind of seeing what I can see. Um, biding my time. You know, we got a hearse over there on the hill. Not a fan of that. Put one in the hearse. And, you know, he pulls back. He's he's not, you know, big into getting shot at range either. Um, so, you know, right now we're just posted up. We're checking things out. Um, you know, take out a... I think that was a Pershing, so, you know, fuck him if you can't take a joke. Uh, you know, the hearse is... He's got really good cover from where he's at. He's not putting fire on our position. He's putting fire... Um, on our direct right flank, so we can't get any shots at him unless he pulls out further. Um, and he has to really extend himself to get shots down in this hole, which would take shots from our guys on the right flank, of which it doesn't look like there are many. Either way, uh, moving on, um, you know, just kind of scanning the horizon here. Not a lot going on. I decide to go ahead and advance up here with PZ, which is in the Lorraine. Um... You know, I probably should have done a tactical reload a bit earlier. Would have shaved maybe six, seven seconds off of it. Um, either way, and I'm, the whole time I'm telling them, like, do not fucking move up until I'm loaded. You know, that's that's teamwork. We just kind of mumble things and, and point. And, you know, most of the time people seem to understand what the fuck we're saying. So, you know, I'm just trying to get, you know, get some spots and, and get some things figured out. If I'm not actively, uh, you know, loaded then I can at least maybe spot something and be useful to the team. And this is one of those exceptions where I said, hey, if you reload and push, we are, this is a technically engaged area, you know, so you can't really push anymore. You don't really want to drive into the enemy if you're, if you're empty. Um, you know, go up here, the, the E5, dude, he knows he's fucked. He's, he, you know, there's chunks of him raining down. Like, he's in trouble. Uh, this fucking guy, I go ahead and put their last round in him, just, you know, just to drive it home just like your mom so uh, you know reloading right now um, just gonna kinda see what kind of you know fuckery I can get up you know I can I can do um, we've got the STA over here in this hole and I'm just like dude as soon as I get loaded I'm gonna come around the corner 
and shit all over him. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, it's not going to happen, of course, because, you know, he's already being gang raped and, you know, he's, he's not a fan of it. And he's like, oh my god, I'm left alone. Pretty much the same thing we always, always say, you know, when we're fucking left alone. So, you know, turning around, I'm loaded now. I'm ready to fuck some shit up, allegedly. So, um, there's a Yag Tiger up here I want to engage. Um, I end up pulling up at the exact wrong time as soon as he loads, and he puts one in me. Um, which I'm not crazy about. Um... Yeah, and, and like I dirted the first one. If I didn't dirt it, I probably would have fucking killed him. Should have been aiming for the machine gun port because he's at a good angle. Normally you can pin these tanks from pretty damn near anywhere, but I think I bounced one. Um, and the hearse makes a run for me. I was almost ready to put one in his side. I auto lock, and by the time I pulled the trigger, he died, and the auto lock let go, and I dumped around the side of the fucking hill there. I'm a real class act. So, you know, now we're loading, we're, you know, pretty much, we're just mop-up duty at this point. We're just mop-up duty, we're just waiting, you know, to just finish everybody else off. This M103, he's in trouble, he's surrounded, he's got fire on him right now, and, you know, there's also a bat looking at him, um, which, you know, I'm sure he's not thrilled about, um... We go ahead and scope him, and that's one of the things where, you know, I pull the trigger, and as soon as I pull the trigger, he fucking dies. Got a 215 over here, I'm long dicking, um, which is surprising because this tank does not do that well. I don't know, it looks to me like it's about 4,000 meters away. So, you know, you've got to make those shots every now and again. I mean, granted, is it ideal? No, it's fucking not. It's, you know, straight shit. But... You've got to do them sometimes. I mean, you're loaded. There's nothing else nearby. You know, go ahead and spray some nut. That's what the bat chat's all about. The bat is all about spraying nut. It's not about accuracy, okay? It's not about hitting tanks. It's about spraying nut, okay? Because most of the time, you're not going to hit anything unless you're point-blank range. And then that's still iffy. You know, you, you spray nut and hope for the best. Hope RNG does not decide to fuck you. And that's, that's pretty much it. Like, you know, for example, I come out here, I spray nut all over this section, and uh, I don't end up killing this guy. I think I bounced around on the way in, and and I'm just like, help, help me please. Anyway, long story short, I'll save you the grief. Yeah, we end up fucking him. So, you know, we're on the way back to the garage now, going back to the bat cave. 4,000 candy-coated garage spaces each with an individual luxury painting of Elvis. Chandeliers made by IKEA in every room, a used couch from Goodwill, and one sentient soda machine that likes to play chess. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my shit, like my video. The new video will be out tomorrow. I love you all in the gayest way possible. Deuces.